eyes Mr. New Mobile here. So at this point, the Galaxy Note 20 is anything but a mystery. Now the impact event is happening on August 5th. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter, and you can purchase any Samsung Galaxy phones or Apple phones by clicking the links in the description. But that isn't stopping leakers to reveal new information about the handset today. I see the birth has revealed that the Galaxy Note 20 and the 20 liters travel use a different material that will make it harder for the phone to slip out of your hand CVR pretty much in the age of the class and works almost all big smartphones have glass bags and most firms justify it by including wireless charging as a feature and shiny smartphones sure do look dazzling, especially with the premium finishes that manufacturers come up with. Nowadays users have always had this one gripe with glossy devices. It looks good until you touch it and become smudged and fingerprints the shinier the finish the worse it gets. Another main disadvantage is that it's slippery like a textured plastic or aluminum finish. Regular glass tends to slip out of the hand easier. Hold is a dangerous combination. While manufacturers can design a device with a higher chance of surviving drops the glass will still remain. The weak point, but glass doesn't have to be so slippery. They seem Samsung is finally understanding that that's the reason the Galaxy Note 20 and Galaxy Note 20 Ultra will be equipped with a frosted glass finish. By the way, this is in the first time seeing OEMs using your frosted glass back, Apple used it on the iPhone 11 Pro Google did this already with the Pixel 3, and even OnePlus with OnePlus 7 Pro, so the concept isn't totally new, but surely a step in the right direction for a lot of people. Also, it should be noted that recurrent phones with frosted back. It seems to get scratched very easily. But that's not the case. The surface of frosted glass is microscopically rough, so they take off tiny chunks of softer materials as they rub against her. Basically they are braces. You which when wiped goes away. So good to see Samsung experimenting with various textures on last, which will help us to have a better grip on her, while the expense of black smartphones course you could use a Ultra, alongside the Galaxy 4 to the Galaxy was 3 Galaxies, but eggs and possibly the Galaxy S20 line. The Galaxy is 20 feet. All of these devices will be launched at the exact same date, but that doesn't mean they'll go on sale on the same day too apparently that's not happening. Porting the South Korean media, Samsung will opt for a three-month release strategy for the Galaxy Note 24 2 analysts 20 AFE will be released in succession one month apart. That is the Galaxy Note 20 August. Also in September, an S20 AFE in Korber. Apparently Samsung is doing this to not cannibalize the sales of one phone with the other, but also to the Samsung Galaxy A smartphone lineup focuses on features that matter the most to users, such as an immersive screen, a powerful camera and long-lasting battery life, perfectly suited for people who want to unleash their creativity and share their experiences on social media. With the Awesome is for Everyone campaign, Samsung celebrated the power of smartphone creativity at everyone's fingertips. Featuring a simple catchy tune and creatives that reflect the latest digital trends, the ad campaign attracted the attention of young consumers around the globe. The Number Dance Awesome Challenge, initiated in partnerships with the K-pop group Blackpink and mobile video sharing social media platform TikTok, also garnered positive reaction. The social media challenge captured the imaginations of young people across the world, generating 4.7 million pieces of user-created video contents and surpassing 20.2 billion views on TikTok. The D&AD has rewarded its pencil awards to only the most imaginative and well-crafted brand marketing campaigns. As only ideas that resonate with a diverse and distinguished judging panel are chosen, Galaxy A lineup, said Stephanie Choi Sr. Vice President and Head of Global Marketing Team, Mobile Communications Business at Samsung. The Galaxy A devices have been loved by our users in recent years. Providing consumers with awesome features that are truly important to them and seeing the content they create has been a sensational experience. We are excited to see what comes next in innovations and how creatives use them. Once you enter the world of high refresh displays, there is no going back. A refresh rate refers to the number of still images that can appear on a screen in the space of a single second, meaning that a higher refresh rate makes for smoother video playback and display motions. In today's market, most solutions offer displays with 60Hz refresh rates, 60 images displayed per second, and any solution with a refresh rate higher than this is referred to as a high refresh rate display. With its 120Hz refresh rate, the Galaxy S20 is one such solution. Solutions with high refresh rate displays are optimal not only for gamers, for whom the technology softens and smooth out in-game movements, but also for the increasy S20's display, to learn more about how the innovative 120Hz display is providing users with next-level viewing experiences. The Galaxy S20's high refresh rate is a revelation when it comes to gaming. 
for fighting games in particular, in which split-second decision-making can prove the difference between victory and defeat, a display with a rapid refresh rate can provide users with a vital edge. The key to winning in a fighting game is to effectively evade attacks from your opponent while timing your own attacks, well noted Michael Kim, an engineer from the display group at Samsung Electronics Mobile Communications Business. A screen with a high refresh rate displays more images every second, allowing you to pick up the movements of your opponent's character quicker and act that little bit faster. A 120Hz display shows a new image every 0.0. The Galaxy lineup this year is doing really good actually a lot better than the Galaxy S20 lineup. The 51 has been the best phone from Sensing in 2020 when it comes to the sales because people nowadays are more into affordable phones than expensive flagships. So applying the same principles, Samsung went even more affordable to bring out the Galaxy. 831 coming at $250, depending on where you live. It might actually be a little bit cheaper than that. Is this really the Samsung phone for everyone? Is this the best, most affordable Samsung phone experience Samsung's ecosystem? Let's find that out to the Galaxy. 31. Like the other issues Wernicke's that same flagship design love a boxy camera diversity left-hand corner, similar to how the high-end models look like. I really dig this L-shaped arrangement. We had a 48 MISL main lens statement was ultra-wide 5 megapixel macro and 5 megapixel depth sensor is so crazy to me that this to $50 phone can blurred pictures like this, I mean can you tell which one is which? Go ahead and waiting. Ok, so if you are a to one. It's amazing how good the dynamic range is like I couldn't imagine taking a photo in direct sunlight and expect this result especially at this price and even comparable to the absolute expensive phones out there. The camera on this phone does justice to the prize daytime photos are good even in low light. But if you're looking for things like forgive your recording. More surprisingly, night mode, you don't have it here and the video looks good. It's got really fast autofocus the front camera is 20 Louisville with great results and it allows for wider selfies as well. This one is made to bring Samsung's core experience for as lower priced as possible, while still keeping some of the great features now software is another thing with sensing us and all of his phones, no matter the price which is one you are a one constant Yuri for all Samsung phones, you almost get all the soccer features of the thousand dollar Samsung phone on the 831, despite the affordable price the data to be 6.48 Super Emily display, is here to deliver excellent possibly the best display in this price segment colors are nice and crisp watching. Maybe on this phone is definitely a great experience we had in its job well. The design may not be punctual like the 851 Ray 71, but the display is just as good, which is what matters to most people talking about performers. This is one of the few Samsung fellows out there that come with a MediaTek share yes, it's rocking a Helio P65 chip, along with 40 light of RAM and a 128 GB of internal storage. I haven't noticed any problem moving around the UI, but this is definitely not the phone for pro gamers. I mean you can play games fine, but no ultra graphics on most high-end games if you're a casual gamer like me and you don't want to spend extra money then you would be fine with this. I can understand this decision because this allows them to keep the cost really low. Perhaps my favorite feature of this phone is there's 5000 million power battery, which is just as big as the Galaxy S20 Ultra I have to say this thing goes on and on for days for someone who wants a solid phone for calls, messaging, emails, social media usage WhatsApp or you know using camera lock. This provides amazing battery timing and definitely making this phone as my secondary back iPhone when I start traveling to Samsung's ecosystem. For as cheap price as possible while still keeping pretty good features. If I have to give the phone to my dad or someone who is casual and don't really care about a lot of these pro things, then honestly this one looks to be a pretty good option. Again, if you are someone you care about this extra features like the bunch hole camera designer extricating features, then you definitely may want to look at something like Galaxy 51 or higher, but for the most part the 831 does its job well. I really like checking out the affordable phones, especially from Samsung, because this is the company that makes super high-end devices and at the same time phones which cost super low. Please subscribe, like the video, comment.